So on the on this blues, uh, I want to talk about the the uh, the approach and the, and and my interpretation of it and, and and the feel and the notes that I used. So if you notice on this blues, I am actually playing a unison line together with the guitar player, and that is um, just one uh, style, one element of the blues where you have unison lines where the bass player and the guitar player plays together. And so for me, it's like I'm trying to do two things almost at once, which is uh, play the line, which is this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I know I'm confusing you because when I when I play with my right when I play normally I do play with all four fingers. So I have I'll try to play with two, but I just noticed I felt the other two fingers get in. I was trying to tell them to shut up, shut up, but they wouldn't. <laughs> they disobeyed me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But uh, with the blues, um, that whole uh, I guess it's called like a dotted six a dotted uh, eighth note and. Uh, 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 uh. Not, but more of a swing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so you're putting this unison guitar line in, and you start on the end. So it's like one, two, three, dot, 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 dot. So it's one, two, three, four, one. Two, three triplet, four triplet. One, two, three triplet, four triplet. One, two, three, four. four I can't talk and play at the same time, but it's it's the feel that you use to, to lead into the groove. So one, two, three. And that's the line that I'm playing with the guitar player. But when the guitar player is not playing, I'm still playing. So I have another job to do is to keep the keep the consistency in the groove. So that's in between, in between, in between, line, in between, line, in between, that's line, in between, line, line, and playing in between then. Now there, I'm, I'm leading up to the flat five. And the way I'm leading up to the flat five is actually starting a whole step down from the actual note, which that would be uh, F sharp. So I'm actually starting on an E, F, F sharp. And I do the same thing going up to the G, which this here is going to be F, F sharp, G. And then back down to E, uh, F, F sharp, then on the upbeat and slide on the last note. Then let the guitar play. Boo doo 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 doo. Now come back and do. Let's take that slow. So it's ba 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 da 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 So I'm adding um, the uh, the chromatic feel back to the unison line. So when you play this, make sure again uh, you're working with a metronome because the thing is if you if you can set your metronome to play more to a triplet feel, I would set it for whether to, you know use the triplets on the metronome. So go one, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So you can be able to be able to use this feel. One, two, three, 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 and be able to put 
the, uh, the bass groove uh, to that triplet feel. So it's very important that you, you learn how to play to a triplet feel opposed from playing it to a 16th note, regular 16th note, or it, you will not only lose the feel, but you'll, you'll lose focus on what the, the, the uh, groove is about and you won't line up with the guitar line and the rest of the, the instrument. So um, take your time practicing that and you know if you have a problem, go back to the metronome, set it for triplets and play to that and then eventually you'll have it. It's a very simple groove and I think it's something that's fun to play with. I think it's something that you could teach to your friends and get a feel for the blues and also take it and expand it on, on whatever music you're doing. All right, there you go.